Welcome to Health Break, your go-to podcast for health and wellness at Polk County Public Schools. We'll give you tips and strategies that you can use in your daily routine that helps promote a better, healthier you. We'll also tell you of all the amazing services offered to our PCPS staff through our healthcare programs. Let's take a journey to better health together. Hi, welcome back to Health Break. I'm Erin, your wellness coordinator, and today I have Jaina with me, who is the physical therapist assistant at the Polk County Schools Employee Health Center. Hi, Jaina, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I just wanted to start off with, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself, like what you do at the clinic, all that fun stuff. Sure, Um, my name is Jaina, obviously, and I am from Connecticut. Um, I moved down here about six years ago. Uh, My kind of past, I guess you can say, was always in sports um, and physical education. Actually, my major was in physical education in college. Um, But when I got injured, I decided to go more into the health and wellness um, rehab. Wanted to be an athletic trainer, but that didn't work, so I went into massage therapy. Uh, I'm a licensed massage therapist for over 25 years. Very cool. Thank you. Both actually, well, I was in Connecticut, now I am in Florida. Um, And then went to school worked in insurance for about 15 years. So I did get out of the field for a while, um, but then decided I wanted to get back in after my aunt had passed away. And I th- you know, we wanted to take care of her, so I wanted to kind of get back into the health field. So when I graduated in December of 14, I moved back down here in the summer of 15, and then got the job at the wellness clinic, right? Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So (coughs) you are a physical therapist assistant. What other types of therapy do we offer at the health and wellness center? Sure. We have physical therapy, um, consists of the PT and me, the PTA. Uh, We have occupational therapy. Um, We have an occupational therapist in Lakeland, and we actually have another office, which I forgot, in Haines City. So we do have a PT in Haines City. Uh, we have an occupational therapist in Lakeland, and we have two occupational therapist assistants, one in Haines City and one in Lakeland. Um, we also have a medical massage therapy, and we have one in Lakeland and one in Haines City. Awesome. Yeah. So to utilize <coughs> those services, is there anything special that our viewers have to do? Do you need a referral? Or? Yes. Um, for physical therapy and occupational therapy, um, you can get an outside referral from a doctor or, or see one of our providers uh, in-house. Uh, for medical massage, medical massage therapy, you do need to see one of our providers in-house um, so then they can refer you over. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Um, can you give me some recommendations for physical activity? Like how many, how much are we supposed to get a day? Um, how often are we Got supposed it. to do it every yep. week? What? <laughs> um, honestly, just move. Just okay. move daily. Um, whatever your base minimum is, you want to do more. So there are some people that are very active. I mean, we have groundskeepers, custodians. We have, uh, you know, always moving. And they tell me, I've gotten, you know, 10,000 steps. Well, you got to do a little bit more, unfortunately. Um, But the ones that sit all day behind a desk or, um, you know, on the phones or something like that, you really need to move. We recommend in the clinic every hour. Okay. Um, Just get up, move, go to the bathroom, go get a drink of water, you know, just stretch, do something, because, and then after that, more. So when you get <laughs> home, take a walk, uh, you know, ride your bike, go swimming, something a little bit more active. Okay, awesome. Is some physical activity, almost a physical therapy, is okay. some physical activity better than none? So if I have five minutes to go to the gym, is that better than yes. doing nothing? 100%, correct. Okay. Everything, you, any kind of movement will benefit you. Like I said, if you move every hour, it'll help you than not moving at all. Um, you definitely want to stay hydrated, um, active, but like you said, five minutes of activity is better than none. Okay, yeah. awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of how I wanted to word this. I had to bring her. Can <laughs> <laughs> can you tell us and our viewers um, a a couple desk stretches sure. that they can do? You know, just you know, sitting at the office. Absolutely. It'll help with their upper back and <clears throat> neck. Yes, and that's a lot of what we get, um, especially over the pandemic. People went from school to home, sitting on their couch, computers on their laps, trying to teach virtually. So we've had a lot of upper back, neck pains, a lot of lower back too. Um, <clears throat> but what we want to do, first of all, is just make sure that your posture is good. I mean, we are on our phones all day with our heads down. We're, you know, hunched over. We want to just make sure that you're sitting up in the chair, not in your recliner, 
not on the couch. But if you're at a desk at work, just make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall. You could put a pillow behind you to help support your lower back. <clears throat> and then make sure your shoulders are back. You're, you don't want to be overly arched, but you want your shoulders back. Definitely want to have your chin parallel to the floor. Okay. That's the major thing. Is you don't want to look up on your computer, and you don't want to be down here on your computer. So you want to make sure your chin is parallel. And then just do some rotations, left and right, like you're just saying no. <laughs> or <laughs> yes, no. And then up and down. And you want to do about three of them. Okay. Every hour. Okay. And then ear to shoulder. Just simple. Nothing should hurt. You might feel a stretch, might feel what people call a pull, um, but nothing should be painful. Okay. So if you are experiencing some sharp pains or, you know, painful, then either come see us. Yeah. Call or the clinic. call the clinic. <laughs> um, you, and you can use some heat and ice too. Okay. That will also help. Very cool. Are there <clears throat> more common like injuries or pains that you see from people in education or? Yes. Um, <laughs> well, definitely upper back and neck from the ones that sit. Um, we get a lot of injuries um, from a pull or, you know, unfortunately a kid, you know, pulls someone down and then they fall. Um, we have the cafeteria ladies that are um, trying to lift large, you know, crates of milk. Right. Um, slips and falls in the cafeteria, um, and then just low back issues from okay. sitting or bending and lifting and twisting. So we see them all, but yeah. Okay. And being regularly active <clears throat> will help prevent some of those, absolutely. right? Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. You want to stay strong, you want to stay active, you want to stay hydrated. Um, most people will walk and swim. That's great, but we really need to strengthen ourselves, you know, lift some weights. It doesn't have to be heavy weights, a bottle of water, a can of soup. Um, you want to make sure that your legs and your um, low back is strong because that's what we're, you know, using. A core is huge. We want to make sure that your core is engaged when we do all this stuff. So we teach you that as part of our program. In, uh, in that's great. Yeah. Okay, last question for you, mm -hmm. Jaina. What's one <clears throat> small thing our viewers can do every day that will make a big impact in their overall health? Uh, first, because we live in Florida, I would say drink water. It for is sure. so hot and humid in here, down here. Um, so drinking water, staying hydrated. Um, <laughs> but other is just moving, strengthen. And again, you don't have to be a bodybuilder. You don't have right. to, you know, play sports or anything, but just move, garden swim go you know bike and i know it's hot out there but you know just just get yourself moving. it's cooling off now it, it feels great it's glorious outside. i know i love it Although i'm a northern girl so i like the snow so <laughs> well jana thank you so much thank for you taking for the time me. out and coming to talk with us i appreciate it not a problem thank you for having me polk county public schools has two wellness centers one in lakeland and the other in haines city clinic hours are from 7 a.m to 6 p.m monday through friday and 8 a.m to noon on saturday to make an appointment Call 863-419-3322. Thanks for joining us today. Do you have a question about health benefits or wellness? Head to polkschoolsfl.com slash healthbreak to submit your question, and you may hear it answered in a future episode. Connect with us by subscribing on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify, and join the wellness community. See you next time on Health Break. Thank you.